Hey everyone, it's Maury. Just thought I'd put together a little video. I feel like I've been so lazy lately. Kind of a slug. Not because there's anything wrong. I guess it's okay. Um, I just haven't had a lot to say. But I did mention in one of my last videos that I was going to review a personal space heater. Of course, I'm at the cabin, as you can see. And I didn't drive the van, so I can't show you the heater in the van. But... I did find a space in the house that I think that I can give a representation of the heater anyway, and that's the bathroom. Larger than the van in volume, but I think that um, it will give a good representation of what this little space heater is uh, capable of doing. And I've got it right here. So let's go plug it in and I'll show you around. All right, so here we are in the bathroom. And I set up my um, thermometer from outside. It's uh, about 60, eh, 68 degrees in here. Uh, and I think that's pretty accurate. Uh, in this room, it's a little cooler. The thermostat on the wall says that it's about 71. So I think that's pretty good. Um, so we'll be using the outlet here. Now that's going to put this heater sideways, which is fine, but I will show you that it has the ability to rotate the plug. Um, you press this button here and then you can spin it. It has a timer and also a uh, thermostat so you can set it for a particular temperature. So what we're going to do in seeing that we have about 68 degrees in here-ish, um, we're going to set this up, let it run, close the door and let it run for a little while and we'll time it. And then we will um, come back and see what the thermometer says about the thermometer says about the heater. Um, it's not going to be blowing directly onto it. So um, I think that the ambient temperature will be accurate. Keeping in mind that this is designed in my uh, in my design, this is more for the bedroom in the van. So we'll plug it in here and it just goes in. Move all my crap out of the way. All right. I guess I should probably move things so that they don't melt. This little uh, here, it actually does get very warm. And I should have some footage to show you where I plugged it in and took some power readings. So if I haven't shown that by now, I'll show it here. Otherwise, I've already shown you. Um, we'll get to that when it comes to editing. So in order to operate this, there is a, a physical on-off switch. And you can't really see it, but right down here it's got a display. And now we're going to turn it on. It defaults to being on. So right now it's set for 90 degrees. I'm not going to leave it at 90. Let's say 73. I think that's probably reasonable. So as it stands right now, it's got some nice heat coming off of it. Uh, I will check the clock and it's basically noon. So I'm going to close the door and we'll see what happens in however long I decide to let it run. All right, it's been about half an hour. I made a cheese crisp and had lunch. In case anybody was wondering how long it takes to make and consume a cheese crisp, the answer is half an hour. I don't feel any fire, so that's a good thing. And let's see what's going on in here. So apparently 73 degrees on the device wasn't high enough for this room. It was too close to ambient temperature already, so its little space reached temperature and it shut off. So I'm going to turn it up. I'll set it for 80. Actually, let's just turn it up. All right, so 85 degrees on that. Um, it's little bubble may end up reaching temperature anyway but we will see how it behaves now 
and we'll try it again. So we'll back away, back away. All right, so now it's about 1230. We're gonna go mess around and do something um, and then see what happens. So when I say we'll go messing around, I'm out for another walk. I'm not gonna go very far. I don't wanna wait too long. I'd like it to be you know, that half an hour, 40 minute time frame. But I am gonna experiment. I bought a wide angle attachment lens. So I'm using my DJI Osmo pocket camera right now with the standard lens. And then there's a little attachment lens that I bought and it's magnetic. So I don't have my readers on, but it looks like that's a much wider view. I can see my neck and my chest. Face tracking is still working. So if I take it off, let's just make a note of where things are. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's actually pretty good. <clears throat> it wasn't very expensive. It was less than twenty dollars, I think. But it looks like it captures a much wider view. There's the other direction. So if we're looking at the wide angle here, and then I pull off the lens, bink. All right, so we have the tree there. I don't want to drop this. Not bad. The downside is that you can't leave it on when you power up the camera. It uh, The gimbal goes through an initial initialization process and the attachment lens gets in the way. But otherwise, it seems decent quality. I guess I'll see when I edit this how it looks. But uh, yeah, I like it. Okay, it's been about about half an hour. And let's see what's happening here. I can hear it still running. The room is noticeably warmer. I think my thermometer is broken. Let's get my temperature gauge here. That thermometer was from outside, and I just don't think it's working right. So, surface temperatures are 72 and a half degrees. In front of the heater, it's 85 and a half. Temperature coming off the heater is 300, 312. So if surface temperature on the wall, well right there it's 75. And if I come out into the hallway, it's 71, which matches with the thermostat. But I've got a surface temperature on the wall here, 74, 74 plus. I'm gonna say that my thermometer is bad it's definitely seen better days, and it's <clears throat> one of those. So, yeah, I think that this is probably not accurate. That said, um, this room is much larger than the bedroom in the van. Um, obviously, doing this test in the van is ideal, so I'll have to follow up with that. But I would say that for a space of this size, um, for being gone half an hour, it is noticeably warmer inside here. And if that were the case in the van, uh, if we're running in the van, it would be even more so because it's a much smaller space to heat. So, I mean, I think overall that I'm pleased with this. I like the fact that it has a thermostat and we saw evidence of that thermostat working earlier because I had it set too low. It wasn't very expensive 
it's um, compact it will shut itself off when it reaches temperature I think that I like it um, I'll follow up with something a little more uh, usable in the van and obviously it's going to be much more noticeable in a cold environment um, you know if I had the van here and I was outside you know it's 30 something 40 something degrees at night at the moment and I could heat that bedroom area up substantially so I think we'll have to do that still it's got a countdown timer for cooling down which is running right now once it counts that down it's blowing just air over the heating element to cool it down and then I can shut it off so I would say that I'm partially done with this little review um, clearly it's not in the optimal conditions but um, but I think that it works you know even in a space of this size it and o over just half an hour it was um, doing a good job and it draws significantly less power than the Truma uh, when you're running on electric in the van. And for me, um, you know, I would be only heating the bedroom anyway. I don't see a reason to heat the entire van. Oh, that just shut off. So I would just heat the bedroom itself and save the electricity. So I'll put a link to the little heater in the description below so you can check it out. Um, I think overall it's a success. I just need to do a better, more real-world kind of evaluation. Good morning. I am back home. I was ill-equipped at the cabin to properly test this. I got some positive results, but I knew that I needed to do it in the actual space that I bought it for to begin with. So I'm back home. I'm back in the van, and I have an actual thermometer. You can see the interior temperature here is 62 degrees and outside it's 58. So I'm going to plug it in right over there and let it run for a little while. I have the curtain here to divide the space so that it will retain the heat. And this is kind of how it was uh, intended to begin with. I will say that the uh, for the heating, you will have to be careful if you use it in the corner there. You don't want to be touching this thing when it's running, but it's in the corner and it's kind of out of the way. So I don't think that it will be an issue for me. Otherwise, um, there's another outlet that you could put it in. Okay, it is running. The baseline temperature is 63.0 degrees inside here. Um, probably warmed up just a little bit because I'm actually in the van. So I'm going to close this curtain and step out and let it run. Okay, after a little bit of time traveling, we're back. I went for a walk to Starbucks and uh, got my coffee. It's been about 40, oh, not quite 45 minutes, 42 minutes maybe. And I'll stick my hand in here. It's noticeably warmer in here. Oh yeah, it's a... so after about 45 minutes, 40 minutes, the bedroom temperature is 72.3 degrees and the ambient temperature outside is still 61.2 it is running and it's uh you know it's comfortable in here so i mean we raised the temperature a good what 12 degrees 10 or 12 degrees in a fairly short amount of time obviously it's going to have to work harder if it's really cold out but if you start with a relatively warm van, um, then it'll be able to maintain it pretty easily. Otherwise, if you don't, uh, you know, if you don't want it to raise 30 degrees in 10 minutes, um, you know, if you're patient, then it will definitely work. All of that at the cost of about 350 watts, which is at a minimum about half of what the Truma runs, and you're only working on this space. Now that wattage goes down, once it reaches whatever temperature you've set, it will shut itself off. So all that said, I think this, at least for me, this is a good option. Um, I don't like running the Truma all the time to begin with, and especially when I'm really only looking to heat up the bedroom area. So I think for me, this works. So with that, I'm going to go enjoy my coffee. 
I hope everybody's having a great weekend and I will see you next time.